851 Big 550 KTRS. The St. Louis International Film Festival is kicking off here very shortly. And actor, writer, University City High School grad Gregory Spore leader. Gregory, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, my pleasure. Uh, you might not know the name, but if you saw the face, he's been in just about everything, right? You were one of those <laughs> almost. You one of those great character actors who if he's one you must get stopped all the time walking down the street. Hey, I oh, know yeah. you. You are yeah, and they yeah. can't and they can't play. I'm you. almost famous, that's what I say back. It's <laughs> actually kind of a great thing for an actor, right? To to sort of not be characterized as anything. Yeah, yeah. It's uh it's helpful when it comes to mobbing or autograph <laughs> signing. <laughs> and uh Nick Schmaltz is the director and a University City native. Nick, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Uh tell us about the movie Easy that is debuting at the St. Louis International Film Festival. All right, well, the storyline is a good guy with a bad drug problem meets the girl of his dreams. But we're really addressing the American epidemic of prescription drug abuse. Uh huh. Which, as far as the last that I read, was the leading cause of death in American young adults. So it's, it's the, I think that it's the most relevant film at the festival. Well, uh, 60 Minutes did a huge piece on it last night. We've been talking about the heroin epidemic as well as the prescription drug problem, and we know how pervasive and how awful it is. I'm assuming you're the struggling great guy with the drug problem? No, I did all the research for the film, and I survived. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I shouldn't joke about drug problems. No, no, actually, I, I, uh, uh, Nick got in touch with me, and he was working on this story, and I had been working st strictly with stories, and so I attached on as... Um, being in charge of the story, why Nick handled the production, the direction. He's actually the star of the show. Uh, he's a great actor as well, studied acting. So are you in the... Are uh, you I'm in it as well, You're yeah. in it as well, yeah. okay. Uh, is this biographical, semi-biographical? How'd you get the idea for this? Well, like Greg said, I probably did a lot of the research. <laughs> uh, I was living in Washington, D.C. Um, but I just, I just noticed it around situations that I was in and so as a good filmmaker and storyteller I wanted to capture the reality that that I was experiencing and seeing and noticing but it was a dream for me to be able to work with Greg because we'd met about 10 years earlier and and I'd always wanted to come one day and be like Greg I got something and we're gonna do it and we, we were able to make it uh, so he, he he calls you up and says yeah. I, I I finally got something. Well, what was really interesting is he had just come back from Qatar. Am I saying it right? Yep. He was in. He had been in the Middle East, uh, which is a whole other story. And as he came back to D.C., he decided he wanted to come back to the States. And he was recognizing the big change. He'd been gone for three years. He's like, man, it's so trippy that people aren't just drinking and smoking boo. I mean, smoking weed. That right. There's this whole other level going on. And that's, that's what really hooked me into it, too. Um, okay, so how did you get... Um how did you get the funding for all this, or did you do this all on your own? All right, so we crowdfunded very little because no one really supported us. Um, so, two other ways. My good uh, business partner, Matt Thompson, came in with our initial funding, and we shot the whole thing for only $10,000. This is a 30-minute film, and we did, I mean, it looks like a fully funded film. So we got some help, uh, we started a business, and then I hustled up some other work in the meantime. Between wrapping the film and starting to edit, I produced this international feature film for these <laughs> Indonesian kids, and I made a quick oh, 15,000 wow. from that. All right, Nick Schmals, did you sell any prescription drugs and or heroin to get this movie fi financed? <laughs> no oh. drugs were sold. All right, good. Uh, it's gonna debut uh, when at the St. Louis Film Festival? Wednesday, November 11th at 9.20 p.m. at the Tivoli. It's in the narrative shorts drama frame, and it's in the shorts competition in general. So we're competing with films from all over the world. It's an international program, but we're really trying to bring home the win of this competition because we think we got the most relevant material. and. Uh, we want to bring it to our hometown. And right. the good thing is, you guys both live here now, right? You yeah. moved here. We right. both moved. Uh, we both uh, moved back just circumstantially. Do you think you're going to shoot some more stuff locally? 
Well, we, okay. Well, uh, thanks Nick, for asking. That's the next. Th- yeah. That's what you are going to. We're, we're hoping to. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Nick Schmalz with us, director. U City native. The movie is called Easy. It de- debuts November eleventh at nine twenty. And Gregory Spore Leader is an actor, writer, University City High School grad. Uh, Gregory, just chatting with with you. W- when you first walked in, I said, "Boy, I know you," didn't I? Yeah. Right. I re- now during the interview, I know where I know him from. You were in what has to be considered one of the greatest scenes in the history of Hollywood. And you know you know the scene I'm talking about. And you know I know the scene you're talking about. I bet I might know too, man. He <laughs> was he was in the scene where Lloyd Dobler is driving around confused because Ione Sky dumped him and he goes to the guys at the at the gas and sip and you say it's about economics. Exactly. You're the guy, right? <laughs> if you guys know so much about women, what are you doing on a, on a gas and sip on a Saturday night? Conscious choice. Con- Lloyd, Lloyd, all null and void, right? And you're the guy who says, it's about economics, Lloyd. That's so great that you remember that. That not only was the first film I was ever in, but we improv that whole scene. I was very good friends with John Cusack at the time, and he said, well, I'll videotape us, we'll improv a scene, and I'll show it to Cameron Crowe and see if maybe, uh, if, it, if we can get you in the movie, at least a shot, you know? And we went up to the, our agents at the time, and he began shooting, we began farting around. And I remember leaving thinking, man, that is the closest I'll ever get to a movie, and I just blew it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Was, all we did was jerk around, and next thing you know, Cameron Crowe was like, that was perfect. That was the first time like a white boy had sort of pretended to rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hitting the beatbox, and that was Five all back seconds. in, the, I mean, I think that's like 87. Uh, Gregory Sporlander, can, can you give us a reprieve from the gas and sip on a Saturday night? <laughs> It's about Lloyd, a- Lloyd, no, null and void. Walking around town like your pretty boy Floyd. Hey, you know. Love it. Uh, Gregory Sporlander. Uh, leader. Leader. Spore right. leader. Sorry, I'm a little Could've rattled. Been. I'm a little excited. Uh, Nick Schultz, Wednesday, November 11th, 920, St. Louis Film Festival. Find out more, guys. Thanks for coming in. Thanks, Thanks for having us. 848, Big 550, KTRS. Pressure in sports is all part of the.